Okay, hey guys, um, I thought I'd make this video because, you know, spring is right around the corner, and I'm like, you know what, uh, for people who are just gonna get into herping, they need to start, uh, really early figuring out where they're gonna go herping, when they're gonna go herping, and what they're gonna go herping for. So, um, I'm gonna show you how to, like, find a very good spot for what you're trying to find. Um, first off, you wanna look at a map like this, um, and I'm basically making it to where, um, if you're using an iPod, you can take a picture of your screen or whatever, but, um, I'm making it to where you guys can just look at this and, uh, really find a good spot, um, but, yeah. Um, as you can see, um, I'm gonna be, uh, eyeing out the Mid-Atlantic region, because that's where I'm from, temperate, uh, I, I have no clue what that is, anyway. Um, but just figure out where it is. These are more swampy areas in here, um, lowlands. Um, and the second thing, this is basically, um, a biome map, for say. Um, but here we, we're going to look at the, um, annual rainfall. Now this is very important, actually. Um, why is this important? Well, because... First off, it's going to be a wetter area the more rain that they actually get. You see, these areas um, will have more swamps than um, way up in here. But that's pretty obvious. But, um, you know, in here would probably be very swampy compared to over here because they get more rain. Over here, it's obviously not going to be swampy. It's just that they get a lot of rain there. Uh, I don't know why, but they do. Um, but you want to look out wetter areas for, uh, if you want a swampier place. Now let's check out, um, well, herping is amphibians and reptiles. So we're going to check out the amphibian species richness map. And uh, I couldn't find a fully U.S. one. I can only find, like, a world one. But anyway, as you can see, eastern half of the U.S. is much better for um, amphibian richness. And what this means... This is the amount of species. Obviously, South America's the best, you know. Uh, South America has a lot of animal stuff, you know. Okay. Um, and now, we're gonna look at the reptile richness. This one's a little better. Um, and herping is a lot more about reptiles than it is about, um, amphibians, but it's still a lot about reptiles. Or, about amphibians. Um, as you can see in the red area, that's where you're gonna get the most reptiles, and I just so happen to be right in that. Um, but, basically, southeast is the best herping in my eyes. Um, south. Um, let's just say south, yeah. Pretty much the best herping, because there's the most species. Uh, which means there's more actual amphibians and reptiles. Now, for mapping out your area, let's check out some species. Um, and you're going to want a guide. I recommend the app. Um, let me see. I have my app right here. It's called Audubon, I think. Audubon Reptiles. Um, search that up. It's A-U-D-U-B-O-N Reptiles. It might be Reptiles and Amphibians. Just put in the um, Audubon part, and you should probably find it somewhere around the line. And I know that's for Apple. Okay, so here's the, let me fix that, because I think if I put it up in here, and it's going to fix that, yeah. Okay, well, this is the Cottonmouth Range. Um, as you can see, it ranges from the south to east um, to anywhere. But basically, what I'm um, hinting at here is, you want to name off like five to ten reptiles that you really want to find, and find an area where all of those are. Or you can just find a biome uh, that you'd like. Um, you can go to the mountains of the Appalachians and find things that I'd like to be in creeks, uh, running off mountains very strongly. Sorry about the sink in the background, by the way. But, um, you can barely hear that, but... Or you could be in the swamps of North Carolina and, um, South Carolina, or in the swamps of Florida. It really just depends. Here's the second species, the black swamp snake. Uh, more isolated range, but it's still, um, there. It's anywhere from, uh, eastern North Carolina, eastern South Carolina, eastern and southern Georgia to most of Florida. And that's a very pretty snake, um, that you can only find in swamps normally. But, yeah, you just really need a reptile guide. Find a couple of reptiles you like. 
find an area that's not too far away. Um, if you live in Virginia, it's not too far to get to where a swamp snake would be found. If you live in California, that's a really hard, like far away place. It's just, it depends um, how far away it is. Because obviously, if you're all the way over here, you're not going to want to come over here. But find some species that are like, you know, only four hours away from you or something. And if you're um, young and too young to drive, what I recommend is asking them for something on your birthday, because then they'll maybe be a little more considerate if that's really what you want. To go somewhere on your birthday to go herping, try to find some time where your parents aren't working on a weekend, depending on if it's summer or not. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped planning uh, where you want to go herping uh, for springtime. Um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. This has been Herp Village Reptiles. Bye-bye now.